morning class family happy friday we've had such a wonderful week it's been fantastic let's go ahead and look at our message are you ready okay show me that you are a team and a class family fall on with your eyes and listen with your ears use your finger to point ready march 19th 2021 dear class family today is friday first we will read a story then we will talk about the book and share our thinking next you will look over your non-fiction book last we will go to pe class it is a fantastic friday love miss joiner oh it is fantastic get your fans ready it's a fantastic friday let's look back at the message but this time we're going to find punctuation marks can you help me all right i'm looking for periods and commas oh, and an exclamation point too did you find any of these special things? Let's look back at the date. Did you notice something there? March 19th, 2021. What is this special mark, this punctuation mark called? Do you remember? It is a comma. Pat yourself on the back if you remembered that. Let's look at our greeting. Dear class family, did you notice this? What's that called? You're right a comma now class family let's look at all of the sentences remember you start a sentence with a capital letter and the end with a period unless it's a question or an exciting sentence let's look at these telling sentences and circle all of the periods can you do that with me all right before we circle make it in the air do a dot dot do it again dot make another period now let's go ahead and circle them today is friday i see a period did you oh i bet you'd notice that first we will read a story <gasps> what is that special mark after first over by the pot of gold it's a comma great job look at the end of this telling sentence What's this punctuation mark called? You're right, a period, make it in the air. Dot, do it again. Dot, next sentence. Then we will talk about the book and share our thinking. Oh, we will do that. Did you notice the comma after then and the period at the end? So today, we're going to be talking about a book and sharing our thinking. That's what good readers do. They talk about the books. They look at the book. They look at special things in the book, like the pictures and words to help them. So today we're going to be looking at the book and sharing our thinking. And when you do that, make sure you put your microphone button on so the class family can hear you. Let's keep reading the message. Next, you will look over your nonfiction book. Oh, I see the comma and the period. So you will look over your nonfiction book that you've been writing this whole week. And today I will be meeting with you in group one. If I haven't gotten your writing prompt sample yet, I'll be meeting with you. And you're going to be talking to me about that book. When I meet with you, make sure that you put your microphone button on and your video camera on so that you can share the book that you wrote and I can take a picture of it. Okay, that way I can always remember what a wonderful job you did working on your book this week. Okay, all right. Last, we'll go to PE class. Oh, we will. Mr. W and Mr. Mellinger are going to come to room 23 and do PE with us for those of you in person and those of you online. We're going to make sure you have a lot of space so you'll exercise for PE. Let's circle the comma and period. It is a fantastic Friday. Oh, it is. What's this punctuation mark? 
Straight line down, dot. What's it called? Do you remember? Make it again. Straight line down, dot. An exclamation point. Great job. Do you remember what else it could be called? An exclamation mark. Make it one more time, kindergartners. Straight line down, dot. Let's look at our closing and signature. Love, Miss Joyner. Are there any punctuation marks? Oh, I see the comma. You're right, and the period and miss. Great job. All right, let's have a terrific day, and you'll be a great communicator all day long so that we can understand you. Remember, speak clearly.